Hi, this is Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com and today we're taking to the streets with the Green Biscuit. We've already been in the living room, gave you a detailed look at how this thing is designed and how it's supposed to work. Now I'll show you how it actually works. As you can see, I've already been testing this thing for a few weeks on a bunch of different surfaces, so now I'll show you how it works. Let's go. First I'll show you how the Green Biscuit compares with a regular hockey puck on the smoothest surface I could find, which is a hockey shooting pad. And the shooting pads are supposed to match the feel of ice for regular hockey pucks. So we'll do a quick little friction test, just uh, give them both a push across the board. And the Green Biscuit wins by just a little bit, we'll do it on the back end. There you go, so there's a little bit less friction for the Green Biscuit. And uh, I'll show you just how the hockey puck works. Nice and smooth, no problems there, you can do quick little toe drag. So you do quick little moves there, and uh, fakes, and if you want to make the puck flip over it will, that's just natural. So. You can practice nice smooth hands there, but with the Green Biscuit, I think um, it sm slides even better because of just less friction. It doesn't have that rubbery coating like your hockey puck does. So Green Biscuit works really nicely there, and I like to go this way and do uh, the big toe drags. So that's the thing that the uh, big shooting pad is uh, good for. And now that you have seen the comparison there, I'll take you to pavement and we'll see how uh, they compare. Now I'll show you how the Green Biscuit stacks up against the hockey puck on a smooth off-ice surface, which is pavement. And this is really smooth pavement, no real pebbles or bumps or anything like that. And I'll go with the hockey puck first. And right away it flips up and starts to roll away, which is quite annoying. I'll try to flatten it out there. You can go slowly, but you're not going to learn anything there. And it's because it's coated with that rubber, and it grabs the pavement and then flips over. So you can pretty much forget about using a puck. This is where the Green Biscuit really shines. You can see it slides really smoothly. And you can even put that spin on it like you can with a hockey puck. So it's a bit loud because it's made out of plastic, but you can see you can move it all around. There's no problems. It doesn't flip up at all. And this is a nice smooth piece of uh, pavement. And you can also do toe drags fairly similar to how you can do it on ice with a puck or on a shooting pack. So that's what I like about the Green Biscuit. It works really good on a smooth uh, piece of pavement. And let's go check out how it works on a not so smooth piece. I'm out here in the parking lot just showing you how the Green Biscuit works for passing and more stick handling. And all my friends were working, so I just picked up this uh, Pass Master. This is pretty cool. It's got like an elastic band and it'll fire the puck back at you. So you can use it in the parking lot with the Green Biscuit. And I'll just show you a bit of uh, passing and how smoothly this works uh, long distance. I will do a full review of the Pass Master in a later video. Right now I just want to show you how the Green Biscuit works for passing and stick handling on really rough surfaces like uh, this asphalt and it's got all those little pebbles and rocks in it so there's all kinds of little bumps everywhere and the Green Biscuit still slides nicely you can see you can do like your toe drags and your quick moves stick handling and you can also get that spin on it like a hockey puck would on ice so that's uh, pretty nice you get all that and for passing it works great so you can see using the pass master here you can keep feeding in there and it feeds it right back If you want to do your backhand, same thing. And uh, I also like to do the toe drags, so you can see with the toe drags, if you're going to do them into the pass master, if you miss, well, it's going to send it right back at you. So that's uh, great for practice net. And if you're good enough, you can perfect them just like that. And then say you do one real quick one and you miss, well, there you go. You got to have quick hands. So you can see the green biscuit works great for passing into uh, the pass master. And I do have a clip of me and one of my friends, so we'll roll that clip right now, and you can see um, another shot of us just using the pass mass or the green biscuit and passing back and forth.
So that concludes our review of the Green Biscuit. Overall, really like this product. It slides really nicely. I was definitely surprised at how well it slid without flipping all over the place. That's the most annoying thing if you're trying to stick handle, is if you can't even keep the puck nice and flat. So the Green Biscuit, definitely recommended if you want to practice stick handling and passing. Go out, pick up one of these puppies, and if you want to get one, you can head over to our website, hawkerreviewhq.com, and we've got a link, and we've even got coupons, and a little bit of money goes to charity as well, so win, win, win. Head over to hawkerreviewhq.com and pick up your uh, green biscuit.